Join the fight for freedom, Iranian atheist Sohel Arabi's letter writing campaign. Okay, guys, this is very important. I, uh, Atheist Republic, as well as the uh, Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain, are spearheading a coalition uh, to support the political sponsorship of Sohail Arabi, who was re-arrested in the beginning of this year and is currently in Greater Tehran prison pending trial. And this is very risky for him, considering that he has previously been sentenced to death by the Iranian government for insults against the Prophet Muhammad. And because he's a long-term political prisoner and dissident, he um, is again in a very vulnerable spot. So, and not to mention, you know, surviving torture and medical neglect and all these horrible things. So I have been working with some of the Canadian members of our international coalition, and we have developed a letter writing campaign for Sohail Arbi. And we are writing to various, um, uh, members of parliament and subcommittees and committees throughout the um, parliament and the Senate to basically ask them to raise the case of Sohail and utilize their diplomatic channels through the UNHCR to raise the case of Sohail and Iranian political prisoners at large. And we are, we are taking a very targeted approach I took a long time to develop this and think very deliberately about which government we are going to approach, meaning from which country, Canada, which aspects of the government we are going to target. So the, um, there's a few specific committees within the Senate that we are targeting. And then beyond that, we're also targeting very specific members of parliament who like um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, et cetera. And because we want to maximize our actions in a way that will be meaningful instead of just sending letters out to people willy-nilly, right? So to that end, if you bring up the Google document. So the Google document, it was, it, what's happened if you scan this QR code? Yes, and we'll right? bring you to the Google doc. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we have. Can you like? Is there a way to blow it up? Can you remove the outline so that it's bigger and like zoom in? So, here, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see a very very simple three step guide that will do everything for you. So, step one, right to the House of Commons Subcommittee on International Human Rights, and we have provided a link for you where the only thing, don't click on it because it's going to be, it's not going to work, but um, it's not going to work for you, Armin. But um, the right. only thing that you have to do is open up this Google document on your phone and click on this link. And this link will go and open up your whatever app you use for emails and it will load an email that is already written already has the emails already has the subject lines everything the only thing that you need to do is click this app and sign your name at the end of the email wow. it's automatic so it has to be on your phone it, yeah. it works better on the phone i found mm -hmm. it worked personally it works better on my phone um you don't even have to like copy or paste anything you just click a link sign your name send the email wow and so we have three different letters that we have written that are addressed and specifically meant to target and speak to various government officials in their capacities that we are trying to address them so personalized letters for each of these politicians there's three of them and completing this will take you less than three minutes and then bonus points, if you scroll down a little bit more. So guys, the QR, I will bring back the QR code. This Google Doc would load if you just scan the QR code. So mm -hmm. that's how you get, get to this Google Doc. But I will get back to the uh, QR code again. But yeah, go on. If you want to go the extra step, you can go contact your local MP. So if you don't know how to find your local MP, I provided the information so you can find them and how to contact them. And then we have also provided you with another pre-written letter 
that you can use to either print out or send them in an email. You don't have to think about any of it. It's already written. So if you want to go the extra step, because, you know, we can't do the automatic sending for your local MP, right? That requires a little bit more work. So that's why it's bonus points, okay? Because it's not just one click. So is, yeah. we, I have worked to develop this with um, people who have worked within the Canadian government on federal level and people who have lots of experience lobbying the Canadian government. We were very careful with who we are targeting and the language that we use um, in the letters. Um, and so I would really like to give a thank you to Zara Kay and Sohail Ahmed and um, Robert Hamilton of Humanist Ottawa and Doug Thomas of Secular Connection for helping me develop this letter writing campaign because they really had like some of the knowledge to help me help us as a coalition get this letter writing campaign to the next level of being very targeted and um, thorough. This and we tried to make it as activism. easy as possible. However, one thing that's important, you should be either a citizen or resident of Canada to, to send these. Mm, okay, okay. So I, this that, is yeah, for Canadians. That's me. Me. I will do this. Yeah! <laughs> I will do this right after. So, yeah, uh, Sasan in the live chat said he's going to do this right after the episode. I will do it as well. This is, so, if, this is how activism is done right. Amazing job, guys. So impressive. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for making this so easy for everybody. Yeah, I made um, it as easy as possible. All you have to do is a series of three clicks and just putting your name at the bottom of an email. I don't think it can be easier than that. And Prometheus is asking where, oops, oh, Jesus, is the link. I will post a link in the chat so you, you can also just pull up this right away. You don't have to scan it. Um, uh, I zoomed in on the QR code for people who want to um, scan it as well. All right. So while you do that, I'll get the video about my cult. If you guys want to, for us to watch it together. <laughs> yes. So here in the live chat, I just put the link to the campaign. Um, tinyurl.com slash Sohail RB letter campaign. And um, this is everything you need to know to be able to write these letters. This is very effective. We are asking members of parliament to consider becoming a political sponsor, an official political sponsor for Sohail RB, which has proven to be one of the most effective ways of protecting Iranian political prisoners over the last several months. And um, or also using their capacities to um approach the government at large to raise this case in this issue at the UN Human Rights Council um so uh yes this does make a difference and um we have a line of communication to Sohail himself and so we he knows that we're doing this for him and he knows that we are writing these letters for him um so it's really really meaningful and so please, if you're a Canadian, if you live in Canada, please join this letter campaign and share it with your friends who care about these issues, or maybe they just care about the Iran situation in general, and um, they can lend their voice to that because the letter does also talk about, you know, the issues that Iran and other political prisoners are facing at large. Um, so thank you. Yeah. All right. Um... Thank you as well. Amazing work. Um, yes, Gossam uh, is saying thanks for your efforts, Susanna. You are simply the best. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, my God. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.